Hey what's up everyone welcome to FX Maniac this is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to do this Typhlo Spheres growth effect uh, which I'm gonna show you here as well so I'll just play it for you so you can see it is growing pretty well and it's sort of slow motion we've created this environment uh, everything is done using Typhlo so uh, yeah we're gonna we're gonna do this uh, but before getting into today's tutorial, if you are into After Effects and you want to see some cool After Effects tutorials, I've created my second channel called AFX Maniac, which you can go ahead and subscribe and enjoy the tutorials as well. And if you want to support me and get the project files for this tutorial and a lot more, you can go ahead and join me in my Patreon page. All right. So I'm going to go into 3D Studio Max and we're basically going to do this first. So we'll do this first and I'm going to show you guys what happens uh, with the original example. This is pretty much the same thing except, you know, we've created a little bit of an environment there and stuff. So yeah, we'll get started. We don't want to waste any time. So I'm going to create a new scene. So I'll reset this. Uh, I'll don't save this. Okay. So in the original example, um, if I go ahead and show you guys. So here it is. Uh, I've used a tree from Speed Tree that I've created. This tree using Speed Tree. It's a very weird tree, but yeah, I just uh, created it using Speed Tree. If you want to, you know, get started with Speed Tree, I've done a basic training series on Speed Tree, so you can check it out. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be using a built in tree from 3 Studio Max. So, yeah, this is basically the scene which you can get in my Patreon. So, I'm just going to go reset, don't save. Okay, so I'm going to go and go to AEC Extended and go to Foliage. And I'm just going to go and pick up this tree right here. So, it's pretty big. What I'm going to do is go to the modifier settings, decrease the height to like this much. We don't want the leaves, we don't want the fruits, no flowers, no trunk. Well, we do want trunk branches and roots we don't want. And we want the viewport display, the canopy mode to be never. And we want the detail to be low, so this is basically it. And yeah, so let's see here, the density. We can, we can increase or decrease this uh, proning value. If you go set it to highly detailed, you can go and increase this to be able to sort of control how much you want but we'll set this to low for now and I think this is it so I'm gonna go and convert this to editable mesh and again convert it to editable poly so yeah I want to select the branches so I'm gonna go to element select this element uh, hit control I to select the inverted mode and I'm gonna go and set this to ID 3 because we want the particles to be born only on these like faces so yeah now it's time to create our type flow so I'm gonna go into standard primitives type flow and I'll go and bring the type flow window here I do want to make it smaller because of the screen recording so I'm gonna give birth to some particles I'll go start with 0 to 0 probably like 250 and I want them to be on top of the object so I'm gonna hit tab and position object and by the way if you are new to Typhlo and you want some basic tutorials I've already done some tutorial on Typhlo uh, which is right here Typhlo for absolute beginners and then spline and cloth and all that so it, it will help you out if you are new so yeah check them out um, I want to pick this object because I want the particles to be on top of this object but as you can see the particles are everywhere right if I change the color to sort of red so I can see a little better we want the particles to only be on the faces that we've selected so I'm just gonna go down here density by material ID and set this to 3 so now the particles are only in the places that we've only selected then I'm gonna go and give them a shape so in the original example I've basically used like a shape that I'm just gonna create right now so uh, I'll go here I'll show you guys how to create it so I created like a sphere so once I've created my sphere I'm just gonna go and select the first polygon here and hold down shift and click uh, it'll give you a preview of like selecting the whole loop so I'm just gonna click that so control click again on another set of polygons and hold down shift and click and do the same thing control and hold shift for the preview and do it and we want to do it for these many of them 
And then I'm just going to go and extrude them in a little bit. I do want to make sure that do it by local normal. So just like that. Don't let it be like that much, but yeah. And then basically you can go ahead and add a chamfer operator and decrease the amount to be like this much and increase the segments. And that's basically your object, right? So just like that. But we're not going to use this one. So uh, I'm just going to use a built-in type flow object. So I'll go ahead into the shape, put it down here. And I do want to set it to 3D and I'll set it to Geosphere Mid-Res and go to Display and Geometry. So for now, we want the scale to be very low. So I'm just going to go and add Hit Tab and add a Scale Operator. So I want it to be like, what, 10? And what I'm going to do, if you if you followed my, uh, uh, where is it, the growth tutorial, uh, you know, grass and plant growth, I've basically used like the neighbors test effect, uh, test event and stuff. But uh, in this case, we're going to do a different uh, way of, you know, growing and stuff. So I'm just going to create a sphere here on the base of the tree. And I'll hit N for auto key or just turn here. I'm going to go to 50 frames and I'll just scale this up like way up so that it covers the whole thing in 50 frames. And what I'm going to do is right click object properties display as box and make it not renderable. So it is not renderable, just you know displaying as a box so it doesn't distract us in the viewport. So I'm going to go and I'll use a surface test here because I want to test based on a surface. So I'll pick this one and I'm going to go and make sure that it is uh, volume inside and I will go into another event. So type in like scale and I want the scale to go up, right? So I'll just link it here. I want the scale to be like uh, relative add, and I'll set this to like 140. So now you will see that these spheres will grow, but they're growing like, you know, infinitely. So what I'm going to do is a very cool trick. So you can see they're growing, but they're growing very, you know, forever. So I'm just going to go into timing, set the timing to event age, and set it to 10. So they're only going to grow to the 10 frames of this event. And we also want some randomness. So I'll turn on uniform and give them some randomness for some better effect. And yeah, so now they're not colliding with this, each other. So you can see they're going through. But in this original example, as you can see, they are sort of colliding with each other. So I'm going to go and I'll add a physics shape here. So physics shape is what it's going to do is first off it's just going to drag them down because of the gravity. So I'm just going to go to type flow, go to modify, go to physics and turn off default gravity. So now they are colliding with each other uh, if they're big enough. So I'm just going to add another scale and this is going to be inherit for the general scale of these. So I'll go 200. So now you'll see that they are colliding with each other, right? But they're moving out because they are colliding and you know, it's causing them to sort of move away from each other. So what I'm going to do is I'll add a uh, object bind here and I'll just put it here and I'm going to pick this object. So now they're bound to that object but you can see they have this weird sort of movement. So I'm just going to go to lock to surface and set the sticky to 60. Uh, but still, you know, they got that sort of wobbly motion, which we don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the timing of this one and set it to event age and set it to 10. And also go to the physics shape timing and set it to 10 frames. So now you will see that they're sort of colliding, but they're, you know, again, they're moving away. They're fine, but they're moving away, right? So what I'm going to do is slow this down. So I'll hit tab and type in a slow operator and take this and set it to like, what, 60 so that they're slowing down and not moving. So now you can see that, yeah, now they're nice. So maybe like 50. So they're a little free to move, but you can see that we basically have the effect, right? So they're growing and to see this even better, um, 
we can add a sorry uh, we can turn on the real time retimer and set it to 30 percent so now you can see that they are sort of growing and if I increase the timeline by the way to increase it hold down control and alt and right click and drag and it'll basically do it so now you see that we have this beautiful growth effect and just like that right and you can also add if you add that initial shape that we have created or you have a different shape you can also add like a rotation and in this case in this example you can see that there's spinning as well so you can also add like a spin modifier so they are spinning continuously but ultimately this is the effect so yeah we've created this just like that and it's looking pretty beautiful and you can go and increase the number of particles in the original sort of place and they will update so they're looking really nice here all right so we have our effect here and now I'm gonna go and show you guys my original example and talk about a few things that are left there all right so here is my original example and if I show you the event for this it's a little messed up but I think you'll understand it so it's basically the same thing I've added a, a few more operators and stuff and the second up uh, you know event is for the grass basically so I've basically taken like uh, like hundred thousand pieces of this uh, you know grass clump and populated it along the surface of this uh, object that I've created so if I isolate this so it's basically a plane that I've added like some noise so I have a texture I have a noise turbo smooth and then another noise and turbo smooth and a UV map and that's basically it and if you want to get the project files for this plus the HDRI and everything else you can go into my patreon page and it is available so you can download it from there and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure to do so I will be doing some more awesome tutorials for you guys and if you want After Effects tutorials definitely check out my AFX Maniac tutorial and this was the today's video hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah till the next one enjoy working